if there's a single person at Kansas State that remembers me, they know me as Bree Madden. <laughs> Bree Madden Rodman now. Started off with a sociology of women courses, and then I just, I, I think I took that criminology course with Sue, and I just loved it. My world opened up. I, I learned how to think about things in a different way and see things in a different light that I had never thought of before. Um, you know, 19-year-old kids don't sit around and think about too much, but <laughs> um, Professor Williams really just kind of exploded my world. Um, and I took a lot of different areas, but um, I, I think the, the thing about the criminology that I love so much was the history. And the history of prisons and women in prisons and uh, the, um, the penal code and the common law and all of that kind of thing. It was more like history. And it was a way to view our country, like how our country grew from another um, standpoint. And um, even learning about the transition and how money is made off prisons and things like that. Like that was just fascinating to me. And it was certainly never something I had been introduced to in my life. It reinforced my desire to go to law school and kind of flush out and see where that love of the history of the penal code and that kind of thing would take me. Um, I definitely went into it thinking maybe, um, you know, some kind of corrections, but the further I got in the program, I realized what a broader spectrum there was for me, um, and, and then same in law school. And it helped me in, of course, my criminal law courses and that kind of thing, but uh, it really laid the foundation for everything else I learned in law school. Um, there's endless options with sociology, and I was surprised by the amount of options with criminology, and then, of course, endless options in law school that I had never considered before. Because, I, Like I said, it, it just really opened up a new world for me, um, learning about women, the history of women in a new way, through criminology and not, and just sociology of women. Um, it really, it honestly just created a thirst of knowledge, and I, and I remember always leaving those classes feeling really smart. Like I was gonna go to my teammates or my friends and be like, listen to what I learned today. And I would spout off all this stuff because it was really just like a study of human, like the human condition and human life. And um, I always, I just felt really informed all the time, which I really enjoyed. <laughs> um, and that, but it's never ended for me. Like me um, being intrigued by those types of stories and being intrigued, the history of our um, country in those ways, um, like that thirst never has never gone away for me. And it, and it also created a love of community for me. It was uh, that, that paired with the um, community service I was doing with my basketball team, like it really created a social conscious, conscience for me. Um, I remember specifically a paper I wrote for one of my classes. I remember starting off with this theme and this idea about feminism. And by the end of it, I'm about to get emotional because it actually kind of changed the way I viewed those things. Mm -hmm. By the end of it, I saw it in a whole new light and I had been close, so close-minded previously. Excuse me. Sorry. You don't have... <laughs> um, but I went in with this very narrow point of view and came out like changed. And I know it impacted the students that heard me present that as well. And I remember my professor being very happy with it, and it was really cool. This sounds crazy, but I never went into college thinking a college class would be what did that for me. You know, at, at a young age, you're, you're just naive about that kind of thing. You think you know everything. Um, but it did, and like I said, it started my social conscience, and that has led into what I do every day in my professional life. Like, I, I have a couple of different um, professional avenues I work in, and then also just um, my work in the community in general. That all started there. Mm -hmm. And realizing um, the need for that and uh, involvement and engagement and the impact you can have on people's lives. Um, the tools I learned and the information I gained and the love of community and the love of knowledge that I gained in the criminology department is what led me to where I am today. And it's impacting people's lives every day. I see it every day. The sociology of criminology specialization at Kansas State, for me, it laid so many different, like so many different foundations. And the, the groundwork 
was really laid in my formative years there for many different avenues my career has taken. Um, you know, starting out, you never know where you'll end up, of course, but what I learned in that department was, you know, the history, a, a large bit of history, um, a, a love of history, a love of research. Like I learned how to research and these pap the papers I would be writing like really started the foundation for a love of research and digging deep and then um, putting that information that I dig up in a format that would be interesting and educational and really paint a picture while being um, super informative and factual. Like that, that really started there for me, um, which has served me in every single avenue. I mean, law school, career. My career has taken a couple of different turns over the years, but it has served me in every single aspect from, um, I've, I've worked in oil and gas to law, um, to um, real estate, to um, nonprofit, to marketing. Here at Sharing and Caring, I'm the marketing and events coordinator. I actually do social media um, and marketing and plan large and small events and work with sponsors and trying to get donations and sponsors and that kind of thing. That has served me, that foundation of a love of research and a love of community like we discussed earlier, and um, that has served me in every single aspect of my career. 